everyone, welcome to Business Standards Morning Bulletin. Today we look at Asian Paints, which is the undisputed leader in the paints category. <music> Housing and Real Estate Projects Housing and real estate projects have been worse off due to the downturn, but slow demand and the weakening economic environment seem to have bypassed the leading paints brand in the country. Asian Paints has belied fast sobering consumer sentiments with its financial results. Considered to be a discretionary expenditure and hence prone to trade-offs by customers, paints have seen a decline in volumes. The volume growth of decorative paints, which brings in most of Asian Paints' revenue, has come down to 8 to 9% in April-June 2013. However, Asian Paints bucked the trend and grew at 10%. In fact, it went up from its average growth last fiscal of 7.5%. In contrast to industrial paints, decorative paints comprise interior and exterior wall finishes, enamel paints and wood finishes, and enjoy higher margins. They account for 75% of the overall paints market in India. Asian paints and Berger paints get 80% of their revenue from the segment, while Kansai Nerolac and Asko Nobel derive about 53 to 55%. These players have stepped up efforts in the decorative segment, especially the premium end, to shore up earnings. But Asian Paints has had a clear head start over its peers. The company's strong brand equity, robust distribution network of over 30,000 dealers, and operational efficiencies are the key differentiators that protect its position. With a market share of 52 to 53%, Asian Paints remains the undisputed leader. While market share gains appear to be difficult from here on, analysts believe the company will not face difficulty in maintaining its position. Asian Paints has been marketing its premium and decorative paints such as Royal Play and stenciled wall painting for a few years now ahead of competition. Berger paints with brands such as Silk, Rangoli, Illusions, Weathercoat and Jadu Enamel has stepped up its brand building and premiumization in the past year to catch up. Abhinish Roy, Associate Director of Institutional Equities Research at Edelweiss Securities, says, Asian Paints is almost generic to the paints category. The key differentiator is the advertising. Asian Paints is three, four times its peers' size and can increase advertising heavily wherever required, unlike any of its peers. Asian Paints has also flanked its premium end paints with volume churners through continuous investment in new products and branding. Harish Bijur, CEO of Harish Bijur Consults, says about 22% of Indian homes paint their homes once in 15 years. A likely shortening of the cycle of painting homes will drive growth going forward. As far as innovations are concerned, eco-friendly, health-friendly and mosquito-repellent paints could be worth exploring. That is all in the special bulletin for now. Thank you and join us again in the afternoon for more news.